in rhino land it is the beginning of november and our home kaziranga national park has already seen the first trickle of tourists let me introduce myself i am a lady rhino or as the visitors call me the greater one horned rhinoceros naturally i get a lot of attention from the visitors as i wander about now that i have my little rhina she accompanies me everywhere rhina is my one year old calf the prettiest in the entire park the visitors love her almost as much as i love her i enjoy watching my daughter look at the jeeps and the elephants with groups of excited people on them she's delighted by them and that is delightful for me the greater one horned rhinoceros is a mammal found mainly in northeast india i hear the tour guide explain to the visitors he's right we live in the grasslands at the foothills of the himalayas but until some years ago our home was not safe for us many of us were hunted for our unique horns human beings are so greedy fortunately today there are strong laws and safety measures in place to protect us and i can see the change that this has made there are more of us now although we do not live together as a herd i do see many other rhinoceroses or small groups of mothers and their calves we sometimes exchange notes and discuss how relieved we are to not have to worry about hunters and poachers over the years i have wandered around kaziranga and have seen that the park is varied and large i especially love the tall elephant grass and the tropical forests however Rhina seems to enjoy walking in the marshland. Sometimes we walk into one of the four major rivers in our park. The Brahmaputra water is cool and comfortable on a hot day. It is winter now, but the afternoons are still very warm. I think Rhina and I will have a little fun in the Brahmaputra today. But since she is only a year old, I will take her to a safe spot away from the place where the larger animals gather. At the moment, I can spot a wild boar and an Asiatic water buffalo, but otherwise we are surrounded only by a hornbill, an Assam-roofed turtle and a family of monitor lizards. The river is lovely to wade in, but it also reminds me of the endless rain and the floods of last year more than 3 quarters of the park was flooded and we had to rush outside the southern border several of us moved to the higher regions of mikir hills my friend jhumki told me yesterday that the indian army has now constructed raised sections or chapuris for us i am so glad we can be safe on top of these chapuris if it rains too much this year rhina will soon need to learn about the other animals that live with us in this park but she is so bright that she can already recognize the tiger the leopard the bengal fox and the hulock gibbon did you know that the hulock gibbon is the only ape living in india once i showed rhina the ganges dolphin in one of the rivers She gets puzzled when she sees all the birds. She says, "The Dalmatian pelican, the Indian vulture, and the black-bellied tern all look alike. Can you imagine that? Those birds are so different from one another." But she's learning. I like watching little Rhina splash in the water beside me, and I know that she will make friends here. She'll grow up surrounded by open grasslands and the most fascinating flora and fauna. So many forests are being cut down everywhere that I'm glad that she has a safe home here. I hope that like many of us, she too will learn to enjoy the friendship of humans. Dear Samir, 
What a treat I had this winter. Mom and dad organized a trip to Kaziranga National Park in Assam and I saw the most amazing wildlife. Deer, sambar, elephants, water buffalo, a rock python and even the famous greater one-horned rhinoceros. It was an ancient looking majestic creature weighing over 1600 kilograms and was taller than dad. I was amazed by its thick brown folded skin and its single horn. I felt as if I had walked into a film set of some prehistoric era movie. In fact, we spotted a mother rhinoceros with her calf. Soon, the two entered the river nearby and began swimming with wild abandon. It was a warm day and I learned that rhinos spend most of the day lying in pools and rivers. The tour guide informed us that they are excellent swimmers and can even run very fast, up to 55 kilometers per hour. That is faster than our jeep was going. The rhinos also kept making sounds and the guide told us that this was a bleat and that was a squeak or a grunt or a roar. He stressed that rhinos are very vocal and make at least 10 different sounds for different emotions. But I have to say that all the sounds they made seemed much the same to me. I hope you will be able to see this fascinating creature sometime soon. The greater one-horned rhinoceros is listed as a vulnerable species because of excessive hunting and poaching. Fortunately, national parks such as Kaziranga ensure that the endangered and vulnerable animals have a safe natural habitat. This particular park spreads over more than 400 square kilometers and naturally we could not see the entire place. Mom explained that it has been declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. I later read that in 1904, Mary Curzon, the wife of George Curzon, who was Viceroy of India at the time, wanted to see the rhinoceros that this place was famous for and she couldn't spot a single one. She then persuaded her husband to ensure that the wildlife is protected. Thanks to all these efforts, the park now has the world's largest population of one known rhinoceroses. We spotted our first ones within an hour's drive. It seems strange to be back now in this concrete jungle after taking in all the sights and sounds of wildlife in the park. I want to go there again soon maybe to a different part of the park and maybe you can join us next time yours affectionately adil ellie telephony once there was an elephant who tried to use the telephant no no i mean an elephone who tried to use the telephone Dear me, I'm not certain quite that even now I've got it right. However it was, he got his trunk entangled in the telefunk. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed the telefee. I fear I'd better drop the song of Elephop and Telephong.